This matchup between the ferocious UFC legend Nganu making his professional boxing debut against the two-time unified heavyweight champion AJ is sending shockwaves through the boxing world. In today's video, we go one-on-one -on -one with Nganu's outspoken trainer Dewey Cooper, who makes some bold predictions about how this fight will go down. Cooper is oozing with confidence that his man Nganu will not just win, but score a violent stoppage over the Olympic gold medalist Joshua. But he also has a ton of respect for AJ's skills and accomplishments, calling him one of the three top heavyweights in the world today. This is shaping up to be an absolutely epic collision of power punchers. Cooper breaks it all down for us. Nganu's unique challenge that Joshua has never faced, the pressure on AJ to outperform his rival Tyson Fury, how they prepared for each fighter differently, and much more. So get ready for some strong takes and insight directly from Nganu's camp. This is must-watch footage leading into their March 8th showdown in Saudi Arabia. Kicking things off, Cooper was asked directly for his prediction on how the Nganu versus Joshua fight will play out. His response pulled no punches. I'm taking Francis Nganu by stoppage. Every time we go to fight, the goal is victory, but we are trying to dominate our opponent and stop them. So either a knockout or unanimous decision win, we'll take it. But we always go in with the intent of stopping whoever is in front of us. Those are supremely confident words from Cooper. He and Team Nganu clearly believe they have the power and skill to violently finish the very accomplished former champion Joshua inside the distance. But Cooper was quick to clarify he has immense respect for AJ's abilities too. We're looking forward to March 8th, showing the world how great Nganu actually is and taking out Anthony Joshua. I rate Joshua as two of the three top heavyweights in the world today. He's been a terrific champion. He's an Olympic gold medalist, so of this era, he's one of the greats. We rate his punch power very highly. That's what's so intriguing about this matchup. You got two power punchers in there. Huge praise there for Joshua from the Nganu camp. They clearly aren't overlooking or underestimating the skills and accomplishments of the British superstar. This is slated to be an all-out war between two of the most feared punchers on the planet. Of course, much of the intrigue centers around how Joshua will deal with the unique challenge of facing an elite MMA striker making his pro boxing debut. While AJ has fought Mexican, American, and European styles, he's never faced anything like this. As Cooper explains, the unknown factor of Nganu could make things very difficult for Joshua. He's never faced anyone like Francis. This is only Francis's second boxing fight, so of course Francis has never faced someone like him, but he's the experienced boxer. He's the Olympian. He's the two-time world champion. He's never experienced anything like Francis Nganu. Nganu's raw power, athleticism, and unorthodox striking could certainly give Joshua a lot of new looks he hasn't really dealt with before at the highest level. His ability to quickly adjust and solve that puzzle will be crucial. But for Nganu's side, They've taken meticulous steps to properly prepare the former UFC champ for this wild transition to boxing a legend like Joshua. According to Cooper, it was much less difficult getting the right sparring partners in for this engagement. That's about it. We got the right guys. Francis has prepared very intelligently, very diligently, and it'll all show March 8th. While Nganu's team has seemingly left no stone unturned to have him primed for this unexpected rules switch, Cooper knows it still won't be easy against such an accomplished pure boxer. As he states, they're both difficult because they're both legitimate world champions and really high-level boxers. I don't like to use the word easier because nothing's easy about prize fighting. Another key factor that could play a role is Nganu's mentality of being an aggressive power puncher, always looking to violently finish his opponents. This aligns perfectly with Cooper's coaching philosophy. Every time we go to fight, the goal is victory, but we are trying to dominate our opponent and stop them, Cooper states matter-of-factly. This seems to be the polar opposite mindset of Joshua's constantly criticized lack of killer instinct and inability to put opponents away when hurt. While that measured approach has cost Joshua at times, like his losses to Ruiz and Usyk, Nganu's predatory instincts and Cooper's philosophy could end up being the difference maker. We're looking forward to March 8th, 
showing the world how great Nganu actually is and taking out Anthony Joshua, Cooper says with palpable intensity. It's clear Cooper and Nganu view this as more than just a boxing match. It's about making a statement and dominating Joshua through sheer ferocity. As Cooper puts it, he'll feel that storm, he'll feel that strength, and he'll feel that spirit of a true warrior on March 8th coming at him. While Nganu undoubtedly has a massive opportunity, it's Joshua who may actually be feeling more pressure according to Nganu's outspoken trainer. This is because Joshua has long been seen as the fighter to potentially unify the heavyweight division against his bitter rival, Tyson Fury. But Fury already beat Nganu last December, adding extra stakes. As Cooper explains, there shouldn't be added pressure for Joshua, but absolutely there is. For years, everyone wants to see who's the best out of Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. So of course there's added pressure. But it won't matter because we're going into the fight to dismantle and defeat Anthony Joshua. The expectation is there for Joshua to not just beat Nganu after Fury did, but to actually look more impressive doing so to strengthen his claims at being number one. As Cooper states, I was unhappy with two people that night of the Fury fight, and those were the two judges that had us losing to Fury. So no matter what Joshua's going through, he has to face this big old strong Cameroonian named the Predator Francis Ngannou, so that's going to be enough already. Any added pressure is just going to make it worse. Whether the pressure factors into Joshua's performance remains to be seen. But Ngannou's team is certainly looking to take full advantage of AJ feeling the heat. It's a tall order to do a 10-round fight in your first fight. It's an even taller order to fight the undefeated lineal champion Tyson Fury while he's still in his prime, states Cooper. There you have it, folks. Some incredibly bold remarks and predictions from the always brash and outspoken Dewey Cooper, who is supremely confident his fighter Francis Ngannou can pull off the shocker against Anthony Joshua. While Cooper has immense respect for AJ's skills and credentials, he feels Ngannou's sheer power punching, endless gas tank, an unorthodox unpredictability will be simply too much for the British superstar to handle. Not only is Cooper adamant Nganu can stop Joshua, he seems laser-focused on dismantling AJ to steal his thunder and make a statement to Tyson Fury as well after their controversial bout. You can just feel the burning desire from Team Nganu, with Cooper using intense language like Storm and True Warrior and repeatedly stressing their intent to dominate Joshua like few others ever have. Of course, Joshua is one of the most accomplished heavyweights of this era, and will have something to say about those kinds of brash predictions. But if nothing else, Cooper's words capture the extreme confidence flowing from Nganu's side as their unconventional preparation culminates in just over a week in Saudi Arabia. Will Nganu deliver the violent finish his trainer promised? Or will the more experienced boxer Joshua solve the unique Nganu riddle? March 8th can't come soon enough. Let me know your predictions in the comments. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this news update. Also, make sure to stay tuned by subscribing to our channel and pressing the bell icon to never miss an update from our channel.